Hello and welcome to the Go Daily Fix. I'm Andrew Barnett. What we saw on Thursday and into Friday was fairly typical of what we often see when we see large moves created by central banks. Of course, we saw the US dollar sharply sold and the yen bought rather heavily after the Bank of Japan and the US Fed gave their latest policy statements. But generally speaking, what we see in the next two trading sessions, that selling pressure that we saw on the US dollar and the buying pressure on the yen starts to dissipate. And what we saw was the US dollar rebound. That's caused by two things, the short sellers exiting the market and the buy the dippers, the buyers coming back in at the lows and forcing it back higher. And there are some lessons in that for, some, for all traders to be able to watch and see how markets react after such heavy policy statements from central banks. So we're going to see some more statements in the coming weeks. We're not going to see likely any major moves from the US Fed until December. But on Monday, there's an extremely important event happening on Monday in the United States that's not being spoken about in the press very much, but we are talking about it tonight on Money Exchange. And I think the US president or whoever's going to be the US president might just be decided on Monday. So make sure you join me tonight at 6.30 on Sky News Channel 602 and we'll fill you in on what that big event is on Monday. Looking ahead to today, we've got Canadian CPI as the high impacting news coming out this Friday. No other major economic data is set for release. So CPI coming out of Canada monthly, opposed to here in Australia quarterly, probably isn't going to rattle the markets too much. And what we do anticipate to see usually on a Friday is a lot of traders square positions heading into the weekend. So make sure you look after your risk. If you can join me on Sky News, Channel 602 tonight, we'll be crossing to London also to talk to Thanos Papasavas about what is happening on Monday. And also Tony Sycamore from Commonwealth Bank will join us. He mentioned last time he was on the show that the US dollar against the yen was likely going to weaken in value significantly, and it did. And he's going to give us his latest predictions tonight. So until the show tonight on Sky News or next week for the next Go Daily Fix report, enjoy your trading.